What's it like? It's lively. Supportive. Creative and imaginative. It's young and ambitious. Lincoln's School of Film and Media is a broad church, I would say. It draws academics from all over the world. We share the same passions, the same interests. The research culture in, in Lincoln is, is, I think, primarily remarkable for its diversity. It's characterised by collaboration, I think. You're never more than a few doors away from someone with a different way of looking at the world. The school's an exciting place to do research because of the mixture of scholars that are there. What we have are a huge range of very different ideas and ways of working, uh, different disciplines and disciplinary backgrounds, and a fundamentally interdisciplinary research culture. My main areas of research are uh, digital culture, particularly game studies and game culture. Ways in which we recreate and retransmit the past through the modern media. Developments in 21st century media, such as the way in which um, computation is encompassing the planet. I would describe myself as a sound scholar and an occasional sound maker. I'm a photographer, but I work uh, collectively. I'm specifically interested in the affective, uh, material and gendered dimensions of auditory culture. So I work with uh, environmental scientists, graphic designers, and we try to raise awareness of environmental advocacy issues. My research is on representations of difference in centres for cultural production. Visual and digital culture and particularly contemporary media aesthetics. Where we commonly attribute the photographic flash and cut to the operation of a controlling subject, what if we instead assume there is nothing behind the camera? I think one of the really exciting aspects of Lincoln being a new and emerging institution in terms of research and its research culture has been that there aren't the kind of established traditional ways of doing things, but rather that the research culture has developed organically. There are a lot of opportunities to start up new research groups and there's an awful lot of autonomy. And I think that makes a fundamental difference because it allows us not to restrict the questions from the outset. And that fundamentally is the, is the real goal of research, is to, is to answer a question that may be simple and straightforward, but to be open to as many ways of answering that question as you can. It's when you're part of a community like that, a collective project if you like, our focus is on collaboration. I think collaboration exists within the school both uh, in terms of a kind of interdisciplinary form, but also um, collaboration between theorists and practitioners. You have theorists, you have practitioners, all working alongside one another and with one another. So the department recognises both theory and practice and that makes it a very exciting environment to be working with it. That means that practice informs theory and theory informs practice which makes for a stronger practice and stronger theory.